to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lisette and guys, today I'm going to show you my new stash count logbook system. Um, I hope you've watched the video that I posted Sunday. If not, I'll put a link up in the i and in the description box below. Because there I explain in depth the new system that I've come up with to keep my stash under control going forward. I'm going to rebuild my stash. I've worked through my entire stash, so I have no more diamond paintings in my house. And I want to rebuild them in a certain way. Um, the basic and most important info that you need to know for my logbook system is that I have a max of my stash of 24 diamond paintings. So that's a year's worth of stash, two per month. Okay, and in order to do that, I need to buy diamond paintings, which I'm looking forward to very, very much. Um, but the important thing is to keep track of my stash, and that's where this comes into place. So, these are just simple binders like this. They are the A5 size that's 14.8 by 21 centimeters or if you want to know it in inches 5.8 by 8.3 inches so as you see i've got one two and i even got a number three the third one is only interesting if you're a youtube creator so i'll just give that info later on so the basics are two binders with two clips and you need these kinds of cards they are called record cards and they're just look with the two perforations to put them in here and they're just really sturdy cards i've got mine in white and I've got them in colors, which I will just explain a little bit. These are pastels, so I've got pink, mint green, yellow, and this is a very light bluish color. And if you like, you can get some dividers. I have those as well. I have these horizontal dividers they are like this but of course you can get dividers which are the same size as the cards with just the little tabs on the side but i because of the colors guys <laughs> i just thought that they would go nice with my system just that's the whole idea okay okay so how is this going to work so this is my primary binder each time a diamond painting comes in that i have bought i will get a card like this and i will put the name of the company down here of course i've made an example like for instance diamond art club Okay, I have bought one Diamond Art Club, just for, for fun, guys. It goes in here. So, that's number one. Then I get, for instance, a Dreamer Designs. I use pink for Dreamer Designs. That's number two. Then I get a Jaded Gem Shop. That's a green. Because those of you who know, knows that Jade works with green. And then for all my other small businesses, I haven't put the name on it yet. I have bought one. And it goes in here. So now I've got four of these in here. Okay. Each time I buy diamond paintings and... In the week of arrival, they go in the system. So, let's just get to 24. 
because I can have 24 in here. So these are four. Let's just get 20 more in here. Oh. Okay, now I have 24 diamond paintings in here. Okay, this is just what I have bought. Okay, haven't I worked on any of them since they came in? Yes, of course. That's where the dividers come in. So what I did is I made three of them. Stash, whip and complete it. Okay, the stash goes in like this. Everything is stash. Let's just say that I have um, a couple of whips. That's works in progress, guys, what I've worked on of these 24 that I have bought and completed. So as you see, they are all in the same primary binder still. This is until I get to 24. As soon as I have arrived at 24, so now there are 24 of these tabs in here and I put them like this because I want to put the sticker, the, the picture of the sticker in here and if you want you can put some information on the back of your card. Okay, so now I'm at 24, then what happens? As soon as I'm at 24, I can take the completed ones out. Not the whips, they stay in, but the completed ones. Well, I have managed to finish one, two, three in that period. I'm going to take these out. They are going into the completed binder. So only after you've reached 24. So this is the binder where the completions go in. You can use the dividers again and separate by company. For instance, if you don't want to do it by color or both and by company and by color. So this is the binder for the completed ones. Now I've got three in there. So 24 minus three is 21. So now I've got 21 in here. So I can buy new ones till I get to 24 again or uh, before finish my whips, get them into the completed ones once they're completed and just work through the stash. But this binder can never go above 24. So as you work through your stash or through your diamond paintings, this one fill, will fill up with your completed ones. So that's the basic. Very easy, very simple to follow. You can just count. You can also, if you want, put one in front and write all the ones that you've bought with the numbers on it on here and give them numbers. Just create your own kind of system but I think this is really easy and it will be lovely because if you put it like this then you can put your your stickers in here. That's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to show you the system, the logbook system on Stash Count Sundays because as of the beginning of April on Sunday I will do Stash Count Sundays where I will show you how I work with this system. But this is just to give you an idea. So one main binder, one for your completed diamond paintings, but we're not going to use this one until this one fills up till 24. Now, this is going to be my system. If you want to join and also work with the 24 diamond painting system, the stash count system, um, you can use it like this. And as I have said in my video on Sunday, you don't need to buy 24 new diamond paintings. You can also shop from your stash or your whips. So that way you fill this one up till you've got 24, either with new bought, with things from your stash or with whips and just use the same system. 
So if you've got a stash of 500 diamond paintings and you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, make it smaller because this is just 24. And as soon as you get them out completed into your completed binder, you can fill them up till 24 again or till 20 for instance so that if you're waiting for a certain diamond paint to come into back into stock or something like that you want to have a little bit of wiggle room you go back to like for instance 20 and just give yourself some space because you've got 20 till 24 to go so then you always have some space to get four diamond paintings that's the basics now I also had a third one where I said okay this is for the YouTube creators why well uh, a lot of YouTube creators are showing a promo diamond painting so those are being sent to them by the companies um, we're going to put them in here if you're like okay but I get a lot of them and I don't know how to work through them well just one basic idea you could say no um, I for instance uh, from the very beginning have said that I won't be showing diamond paintings from uh, budget diamond painting companies I only focus on the premium diamond painting kits so that was um, a conscious decision um, but if you get a lot of uh, diamond paintings from companies to show on your channel, put them in here so that you at least know how many you have. The whole idea, I think, when you get them um, is to also work on them. If you only get them to show them, um, well, then why are they staying in your household? Um, I would destash them or give them away or something like that. But if you want to work through them, then at least it's nice to have them in here to know which amount you have. And also, because it's part of your stash, work through them. So every now and then get one from these and put them in here. Okay, and for me, how does this thing work? Well, um, as I've said in previous videos, I don't do affiliates, so I don't expect to get many uh, diamond paintings being sent to me. Um, so we'll just see how that goes. If it's just a couple of them, I'm going to try to integrate them in my 24 system. And otherwise, I'm going to put them in here and come up with a plan as we go. Um, I just wanted to show it as a third option if you're a YouTube creator. So right guys, let me know what you think. How do you like my new logbook system? I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I'm going to show you how I work with it in the coming months. So this is just to give you a general idea of how it works. Um, you can just get this set up yourself or use another system. I just wanted to show you my system. If you like this video, I hope you give me a thumbs up on your way out. And guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, Stash Count Sundays will start at the beginning of April on the Sunday. And at the beginning it will be weekly. And as we go along, maybe after that bi-weekly or monthly, um, or quarterly no idea how this is going to go <laughs> we'll just see right guys thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video bye guys